Well, speaking of the Flames, we talked about uh, Peter Marr, who we'll have uh, on the show in a few minutes here. There are certainly so many moments that uh, I look back and think, you know, the the quintessential, you know, I think of a certain age group, uh, a voice of the Flames because, you know, when you hear the Jerome McGinlas, when you hear just, you know, the Mika Kippersoff, some of the names you're going to hear, it was just so iconic of that time. And uh, as I said beforehand, these are memories that live with me forever, and they do it because of the voice, and that voice being Peter Marr. Has a puck behind the net. He works into the blue line, left side. Ferentz over to the right point to Warner. He lets the shot go, deflected wide. Off the glass in left corner to Aguinla. Aguinla to the left circle. Passing to Yell. A shot. Save made by Aguinla. Three bounds. Another shot. A score! The Flames win it! Yeah, baby! Overtime, 3-2. Flames gaining the win as Martin Jelena knocks it in on the rebound. Oh, a wild flame celebration as they score on the power play. Now it's the Flames' turn to race ahead. Kobasu on right wing to center. Hatcher belts him off the puck, but Leopold carries on. Shooting the puck into the Detroit zone. It goes around the end boards with a minute to go in the first overtime period. The puck's in the left corner of the Red Wings zone. The Flames have it. Conroy goes behind the net. He's wrapped up by Lang. The puck in the left corner for Aginla. Aginla to the left circle. Aginla shot. Joseph save. Rebound. Yeah! It's yours! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Martin Jelena scores! The Flames win it! one nothing. Yeah, baby! There is, uh, by the way, the catchphrase, in case you missed it, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby, exactly. They had a keychain. Someone made a keychain at the time uh, for uh, a beer opener, and that's the same. Yeah, that's what you get to hear. <laughs> that's, that's, a, a, that's a good idea. That's a great uh, keychain, for sure it is.